You're out for a routine spacewalk. Suddenly, your helmet comes loose. But instead of suffocating, you breathe in fresh cosmic air. How far reaching would this space atmosphere be? Why would space suddenly become so loud? And could this lead to the destruction of the whole solar system? This is what if. And here's what would happen if outer space was breathable. The atmosphere you breathe here on Earth consists of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases. It's that molecular oxygen that is essential for life. Molecular oxygen is rare beyond the 10,000 kilometers that the atmosphere extends above the Earth's surface. In space, oxygen atoms bind with space dust. They react with hydrogen atoms and create water ice instead of molecular oxygen. But what if we could find breathable air all the way to the edges of the heliosphere? That's the boundary where the sun's gravity is no longer as strong as that of other stars. Would an expansive atmosphere mean you could travel anywhere in space and breathe like you do here on Earth? Wait, you're about to explore this breathable universe and that's what you're wearing? Come on, let's step up your style and check in with the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. True Classic is the premium brand for essential tees, active wear, and almost everything else you want or need. Well, check it out for yourself. Thanks to their True Fit custom sizing system, their clothes hug you in all the right places, regardless of your size or shape. And their website is amazing. You'll find dozens of color combinations here, and you can pick pre-assembled outfits to expand your wardrobe. And if you need even more incentive, well, right now you can get 25% off your entire True Classic order when you use the promo code WHATIF at checkout. That's promo code WHATIF at trueclassictees.com slash WHATIF. Hey, order now because unlike my shirt, this deal won't last. Besides that surprising breath of fresh air, there would be some other big changes you'd hear of. You'd now be able to listen to the sun and the other planets. In the vacuum of space, sound can't travel. That's because there are too few molecules between the planets and the stars to carry the vibrating sound waves. But in this new space atmosphere, those sound waves could travel great distances. So you'd be able to hear everything loud and clear. The sun is constantly vibrating at different frequencies. It would be so loud that it would seem deafening. Even considering the great distance between our star and the Earth's surface, it would still reach your ears at a volume of 125 decibels. Imagine going about your daily routine to a soundtrack similar to church bells, only it would be as loud as thousands of police sirens. This would be annoying, but it wouldn't be your biggest problem. In the vacuum of space, there's no friction. That means all the planets and moons orbit the sun without losing speed. Or at least losing it very, very slowly. But now, with outer space filled with air, all the planets would be slamming into air particles at very high speeds. The Earth would experience the same fate as the asteroids that enter our planet's atmosphere. The friction causes them to heat up and burn. So, with the Earth currently orbiting the Sun at a velocity of 30 kilometers per second, all that friction would leave us with nothing more than scorched surfaces. And this would be far from the end of the chaos. 
Eventually, the moon would slow to a complete stop. Yeah, then Earth's gravity would pull the moon closer, and that would result in a devastating collision. If you survived through the scorched Earth, this crash would be the end for the whole planet. It would tear the Earth apart. The rest of the solar system wouldn't fare much better. With so much air in it, our solar system could turn into a black hole. This is because all this air would have mass, and with the radius of the heliosphere spanning 90 astronomical units, that's a lot of mass. Yeah, about five billion times more than the sun itself. So, if the sun's gravitational pull made all this mass compress toward it, the solar system would become increasingly dense. If all that air compressed into a space about 80% of the Earth's diameter, you'd witness the creation of a black hole. I mean, if you were still alive at that point, that's unlikely. That black hole. Would be about 1,200 times more massive than the supermassive black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. Okay, at this point, you and I would be long gone, and it might be for the best because it looks like these two gravitational monsters are about to collide. But that's a story for another. What if?